Hello there guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel CAD Camster. Today we are going to design the simple part exercise in SOLIDWORKS 2018. This is another tutorial of our part exercise series and this is our part exercise number 20 which we will create in this tutorial. You can see this is our part which we will create in this tutorial. This might look simple but this part is a bit tricky especially this area which you can see is a tapered cut. We are going to use this command which is known as boundary ball space to create this tapered extrude. Now I am going to use this 2D drawing in order to create this part. You can see this is our 2D drawing and all these dimensions which are mentioned in the drawing are in inches. So make sure you are working under inch system. Now let's talk about the approach. Now first I will create one rectangle of distance 3.76 inches plus 1 inch which will be this outer rectangle up to this region and here 2.5 inches will be the width and then I will extrude it up to a thickness of 0.88 inches which is mentioned here. After that I will create this extrude this one at a height of 3 inches from this base. Later on we will create this cutout and this tapered extrude. So let's let's get started. And if you need this 2D drawing, I have provided the link in the description of this video. And if you need more 2D drawings like this, you can visit our website www.catcamster.com. And before getting started, if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of all our latest uploads. Now let's move on to the software screen. Now first I will exit this part. Now go to file, select here new. Now select here part, click here OK. Now first I will switch my background to plain white. For that select here heads of view display and select on this drop down. And select here plain white. Now, now we have to change the unit system because in my system you can see here on the bottom right corner it is by default selecting millimeter gram second but in the drawing we have inch pound second system so i will select here inch pound second now we have to specify the sketch plane for that you can select simply the sketch plane from this feature manager design tree or you can simply select here sketch now select any of these planes i will select here front plane now I will select and create one rectangle of dimensions 3.76 and 1 which is 4.76 and 2.5 inches. Now select a center rectangle, snap this origin point, create one rectangle like this. Now select a smart dimension, now select this edge, this will be 4.76 inches. Now select this edge. Now here the distance of this edge is 2.5 inches. Now enter the value of 2.5 inch like this. Now we will extrude it up to a thickness of 0.88 inches which is mentioned here in this drawing here. Now go to features, select here extrude boss base. Now specify the thickness 0.88 inches like this. Direction will be upward. Click here OK. Now you can see. Now we will create a reference plane for to create this extrude. And the height of the reference plane will be 3 inches minus 0.88 inches from this face. So select here reference geometry, select here plane. Now you can select this face. Let me select again. Now select here reference plane, select this face. Now enter the value of 3 inches minus 0.88 inches. You can see 2.12 inches. Now click here OK. Now select here normal tool. Now select this plane which we have just created the reference plane now select here sketch now we have to create this rectangular section on this face 
now select line command like this now we have to dimension these lines now go to smart dimension now you can see here the distances let me uncheck these now you can see here it is one inches so select this edge enter the value of one inch now here it is 1.38 select this edge enter the value of 1.38 inches now here you can see 0 0.62 inches select this edge this will be 0 0.62 inches now some more dimensions now you can see here it is 1.5 inches and it, this one is is here 1.12 now select this one this will be 1.12 like this and this length is 1.5 inches select this edge enter the value of 1.5 like this now we have to extrude this one go to features select here extrude boss space now make sure the direction will be towards this face select direction here opposite and select here up to the surface or you can simply select here up to next it will automatically select this face next face and extrude up to that face make sure you check here merge result otherwise it will create a multi-body now click here ok now I will hide this reference plane which I have just created now you can see this is our required profile now we will remove this excess material because you can see there is no material here now for that simply select this face select here sketch and select here convert entities now go to features select here extrude cut select here through all now click here ok now you can see now in the next step we have to create this tapered profile now here is the some trick first we will create this outer rectangle and cut more entities on the base portion then we will create these lines using the 3d sketch command and after that we will use the boundary base command so let's create this profile now first we have to create one reference plane the height of the reference plane from this top face will be 1.31 inches so select here reference plane now select this face enter the value of 1.31 inches direction will be opposite so select here flip offset now we will create one reference plane for that select here plane now select this face and enter the value of 1.31 inches direction will be opposite so select here flip offset now click here ok now in the next step we will create our next profile which is this cutout tapered cutout for that we will create this sketch now we will select this plane which we have just created now select here normal to now select here sketch now click on this drop down icon and select here three point corner rectangle now grab this point second point and create one rectangle like this now go to features sorry first we will 
dimension it for that select a smart dimension you can see here the distance is sorry the length is 1.82 inches so select this edge enter the value of 1.82 inches now click here ok like this now exit this sketch now again I will select this sketch now this time select this plane now select here convert entities select this plane click here ok now again exit sketch now this time we will use the 3d sketch command for that click on this drop down icon select here 3d sketch now select here line command now connect this point to this vertex now press the escape key again select here line command connect this vertex to this vertex again escape key now again select here line command now connect the these two corners with these two now select this corner with this one press the escape key again select line command select this corner with this one again press the escape key again select here line command now select this corner with this line first you can see here this line is not fully defined and this is not exactly at this face because we want this line to be exactly at this face now for that select this line hold down the control key select this face now from this options select here on plane now click here ok now you can see is this line is also fully defined and this is exactly at this face now click on this exit sketch command now go to features select here boundary box space select this upper sketch now select this lower sketch now click on this direction to box now we have to select the guide curves for that select this edge click on this select open loop and click here ok now again select here this edge select here open loop click here ok now select this edge click here ok now again select this edge select here open loop select here ok now the last one here select this edge select here open loop click here ok now from this drop down select here to next sharp now click here ok now you can see in this way we can create our part number 20 in a very simple way now if you like this video please do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that get we you get notifications all of all our latest uploads thank you